My name is Mindy Kelly, and I am a stay-at-home mom. I love it. I definitely let my kids be my life. That's actually the hardest challenge of a mom, is finding time for yourself. I like lived for food, like it, it was my drive, because it would be like, yay, I made it through the day, I need a treat. Or, yay, something big happened, let's go get a treat. They had just got back from a doctor's appointment and they had printed me off like kind of a rundown of the appointment. I was sitting there and eating potato chips, actually, in my kitchen. And just totally mindless eating and I started reading this paper and it said on it that I actually was obese. Tears came to my eyes and my first thought was still like keep going at the potato chips. I finally had like an aha moment. If I don't do something, I'm not going to be here for my kids. There's a million things out there that I could have done to lose weight, but it was like I was so tired of quitting and having to play the start over game that I was like, no, this isn't, this isn't a diet, this isn't a temporary thing, this is going to be a lifestyle change, something that I can do and achieve and will benefit my kids and my husband and everything. So at first it was like the little baby steps. At first I just started walking. The biggest chunk of it is the nutritional factor. Being aware of when I eat and how I eat and why I eat. So is the basic, like the go-to. One of the first things I do in the morning is I, I grab a pack of a soul and core and head off to the gym. And I like it because I've started off the day with something good for me, good for my body, and I don't want to sabotage myself the rest of the day. I love the fact that it is a plant-based essential fatty acid. It's amazing, the difference. Like, to me, it helps curve my cravings. And then after that hard workout, or depending on what kind of I've done that day, I love it as kind of the recovery after. When I started losing weight, I never thought I would be to where I am now. We just did a 5K, and I finally beat my daughter. And it was so fun to be like, yes! I mean, she's 11, that's sad. <laughs> I'm like, victory for beating the 11 year old. But to have my kids be able to be like, oh, you can come play with us. You can do these things that I couldn't do. I still am who I was three years ago, but it definitely feels good to know that I'm here for my kids. And now it's like, I'm in control and I eat to live now, not live to eat. I'm healthy.